then obviously the, the technical foul was kind of all time. Did you feel like you had a lot of momentum there and that gave Purdue an, an opening maybe? Um, you know, it was early, so I don't know. I mean, we knew either way they were going to make a run at some point, you know. Um, maybe did, maybe didn't. Um, but, you know, I thought we were able to, you know, still keep our poise and climb back in the game. I think with the last, like, four minutes to go, still in one or two possession games. So, you know, there's going to be runs, um, whether it was that or whether it was them making another run to get back into the game. I mean, something was going to happen. We were going to come in here and, and blow them out. Um, but I thought our guys did a good job sticking with the game plan and, and staying composed and, and giving ourselves a chance to win. Ben, over here. Your team's been in almost every game all, all season long. I mean, you think the biggest uh, deficit, 12 points all season long. How tough is this Minnesota team? And by looking at tonight, you guys look like you belong in the NCAA tournament later on. Uh, I wish you were, I had a vote in that. Um, <laughs> I don't, but. Uh, we'll find a way. Uh, no, I mean, I, I uh, I think I got a, a fun group. You know, we're, we're growing with each and every game. I mean, every experience for us in a lot of ways is new. Um, half my team has never played here, you know, and, and gone against the number two team in the country. And so I think our mentality took a step from the Iowa game, uh, which was what we needed to see. Um, but there's one more step that we got to take. And I think if we take that one more step, hopefully it, it produces a, a, a win. But, um, you know, we're growing. We're, we're, we're getting battle tested, which is good for us. Uh, to your point, you know, I think we're, we're able to compete with anybody in this league, especially when we play our way. Um, you know, I'm just proud of kind of what we're doing on both sides of the ball, but defensively, there's just one more step that we've got to take to really be one of those top half teams in our league consistently. Um, and I think games like this help our guys realize, you know, all the details that it takes to, to win, especially on the road. But Ben, how do you get to that point from where you're at then? I think we, you got to go through it sometimes. You know, you got to have experiences like this. You got to you got to face a team that's as tough and as physical. Um, you got to play in an environment like this to toughen you up a little bit, um, because our team has shown that we've we've learned from you know wins and losses. And so now you can stack this up. Um, you know, we're going to go on the road and some other tough environments. So hopefully, you can lean on this. Um, and you can lean on this experience to help you in one of those next road games coming up. And, and I think, again, it's no fun to go through it, but when you got guys that haven't, you got to go through it. And, uh, and I think, uh, you know, as long as you learn from it and get better, um, you know, that's what we're looking to do. Uh, ben, can you talk about Dawson, obviously, you know, coming back from the miss in the second half versus Iowa, he battled and then trying to face uh, Zach Eady with multiple uh, big guys out there. Yeah, no, obviously, you know, Zach's unlike any other cover. And, um, you know, it's tough because obviously they run, you know, so much good stuff to take away your help. And it's kind of pick your poison at some point. And, um, you know, the way we were guarding, you know, I liked it in the ball screen, but we knew we were going to leave ourselves open, um, you know, on the backside. And Mason did a good job and they ran some stuff to kind of clear out the help. Uh, we were a little bit late on some of our rotations out of there. But, you know, they're a good team. And, and so much, in my opinion, is it is pick your poison. And, and you do have to hope sometimes that they miss because they're going to get some good looks. Um, but I thought our guys battled. Um, you, know, you know, thankfully we're able to have some depth this year to, to be able to have multiple leagues guard them when you're going to get in foul trouble. Um, I thought that times our double team was good. Um, but, you know, you got to give those guys credit. You know, they're, they're a good team and they're number two for a reason. Yeah, he was close. I mean, he didn't do much leading up to the game. Um, you know, my concern was, you know, he wants to play so bad, but I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, he was he was obviously able to go and wouldn't re-injure anything. And, and when we got the clear and he wanted to do it, uh, I thought he, you know, gutted it out and had a really good game. And um, obviously he's a big piece of what we do, you know. And so it was unfortunate that uh, he left the game, you know, versus Iowa. Um, but you can see his production and just his defensive presence means so much for our team. So it's good to get him back and, and back in the rotation and back in the mix. Ben, here in the middle, uh, <clears throat> you spoke about this a little bit, but when you're growing, there's growing pains. And uh, a game like this has growing pains in the worst sense, but also the best sense. And obviously, you wiped out the first half deficit and came back and almost wiped out the second half deficit. What's been the characteristic within your guys that is kind of made the pain, you know, to be able to learn from the pain and, and 
apply the right lessons going forward? I think our guys are, are you know, we, we got a room full of fighters. Um, we got a room full of guys that have a belief in what they're doing and, and their belief in themselves. They know we're really, really close. And um, I think their confidence hasn't wavered, which is a good thing. Um, and they know how tough this league is. And so, you know, you never want to go through it, but when you can pull a lot of positives out from different experiences, whether you win or lose, I think you can stack those, especially for a team that's still trying to figure out like how to win and, and what, everything that it takes to win. Um, you know, we just got to have a, a big memory bank and keep stacking okay, experiences on top of experiences, good and bad. We got to learn from it, grow from it. And, um, and they're, they run the coaching, which has been fun. I mean, they, they, they're going to take this loss hard. You know, they already were in the locker room, and, and that's a good sign. And, um, you know, now we got to be able to rebound and, and go home for two and have a really good week. You know, I, I told him, I said, uh, you know, you find a way to play like this at home um, and only have a game of five turnovers and still have 19 assists, um, still shoot it well from three and take good threes, get to the line, and we're making free throws now. Um, you know, I think we're going to have an exciting second half of the, or back end of the, of the, of the season and um, continue to put ourselves in position towards the Big Ten tournament. One or two more for Coach. Uh, I think overall the Big Ten is shooting 32% from three with these last two games. You did 12. Is this something that you kind of saw coming with this team? Yeah, I think we're a good shooting team. Um, you know, again, it's, it's us taking the right shots, I think, really helps in, in slowing down. Um, and, you know, now guys are really having a feel for just Big Ten and Big Ten defenses and the type of shots that are winning shots in this league and things you, you can do to help your team. And in fact, with shot selection, I think that's, that's huge. And, and when you have guys that are good shooters, if they take good shots, obviously the, the odds of going in are higher. And so we just had to kind of learn that lesson. Um, and now that I think we've been patient and we've, we've grown in our early offense and in our half-court offense, and we understand what, what a good shot for us looks like, um, I think now that's why you're seeing them go in a little bit more, and, and we build confidence with that. Uh, ben, can you just speak to the player Cam Christie's become for you, how hard he is to guard when he just can't go get his own shot? Yeah, no, Cam, um, you know, I'm, I'm biased, but I would argue a better a kid that's had a better freshman year in this league and, and even across the country, just with as much as we're playing him and defensively he's taking a huge step. Um, I think he's got a crazy high ceiling. And for a guy that, um, you know, just turned 18, he's one of the youngest players in the country, like is that the seventh youngest player in the country. Um, you know, the, the amount of growth that he still has is, is phenomenal. Um, and he wants it. I think that's the thing. You know, when I recruited him, um, you know, that was the biggest thing is that he's a guy that wants the moment. He wants the ball. He wants the big stage. He wants to guard the other team's best player. He wants to take the shot. Um, you know, obviously, the better players you have, the better coach you are. And um, we're continuing to develop him and, and the rest of our guys and, again, see how we can finish this season out. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Uh, thank you.